So here's a great dating tip. Beware of predators. A predator is someone who takes from you to fulfill their own selfish desires. So reality is anybody can be a predator, but we're gonna focus in on men, specifically when it comes to relationships. Now I've come across a couple of kinds of predators in my day. You got your nice predators, sweet predators, charismatic predators, those fine predators, the successful predator. I mean, he comes in many forms. So what I've learned is most men are predators. Not all men, but most of them are. Either they were a predator or they still are a predator. And this is simply because how men are taught. Men are taught by our society that women are something to chase after for your own selfish desires. How many women I can sleep with? I'm a pimp, I'm a player, and he's the man. But as you can see, society has taught men how to prey on women. And the opposite of a predator is a protector, one that protects the woman, who doesn't come into her life to steal from her, to take from her, but to protect her, protect her heart, her future, her body, everything of her. And the crazy thing about all of this is some men don't even know that they are predators because that's what they've been taught all this time. So they think it's normal to prey on you as a woman. So it is so crucial for women to be aware of this kind of man and to be able to detect this kind of man so that she can run far from this kind of man. When I say predator, think of a lion. A lion simply hunts down its prey to consume it, to kill it and to devour it. But see, that's what lions do. But God never created men to be predators. He was never created to take from you, but to actually give to you. Think physically. Men give seeds and women take seeds and make babies, right? And you know, some of these predators are out here taking women's money, taking their time, their emotional health and stability, taking their cars. I mean, so much stuff. See, when a man doesn't know his purpose, when a man has failed to get his instructions from the Lord on what he is supposed to be doing on this earth, you'll find him doing pretty much anything, anything convenient, anything that satisfies his immediate desires at that time. When he doesn't have instructions on what to do, what he ends up doing is doing you. He finds his worth in a woman, which is crazy because a woman doesn't make a man a man. And when men turn to women, racking up women, racking up bodies, thinking that he's a man, guess what? He's far from it. Just a little boy in a man's body. And one of the ways that predators like to prey on women is sex. See, I learned from the creator of sex, God, that it's pretty important to use his gift of sex exactly how he created it to be used within a committed relationship of marriage. And he told me that when you use something good in a way that it was never supposed to be used, it's no longer good to you, but it becomes the opposite thing. And so how is a man taking from you? Well, obviously when he's wanting to just have sex with you, he's taking your body for his own selfish gain, right? Illegal sex, as I like to call it, sex that is outside of a committed marriage, steals from you it steals a lot from you but here's one thing that it takes from you it takes away your covering you know that covering that we talked about before let's go a little deeper shall we as god covers the husband and god is his leader his his uh protection his wisdom god also gave that covering authority to a husband to cover and protect his wife so god covers the husband the husband covers the wife and they are ultimately under this covering, this umbrella of God's protection. So if that's happening within a committed relationship of marriage and a husband's function is to cover a wife, what do you think happens when a guy who was not her husband has sex with her? He uncovers her and ultimately he uncovers himself from God. And remember where there is no covering, there is damage. And that damage is on so many levels. I mean, physical damage, STDs, emotional damage, a broken heart, and most importantly, spiritual damage. When you don't have the covering from God, it opens up your life to spiritual attack, demonic attack. So when I say he's stealing from you, he is stealing from you. He is taking from you. But what if we're in a relationship and you know he loves me, I love him. If he's having sex with you, guess what? 
he is operating in a function of a predator. Crazy, but true. The number one way to scope out a predator is his willingness to have sex with you outside of a committed relationship of marriage. So yeah, I know that was a, a shocker and a lot to take in, but ignorance is not bliss. It hurts you in the end. All right, y'all, come back next Monday as I share yet another dating tip that you need to know. Stay encouraged.